what is going on, people. I am here for, if you couldn't tell by the title, a unboxing, a showing off, a... I don't even know what to call it. Usually, you know, if I had a box set or whatever, I'd open it up and show you all the movies. This is a single movie right here, but I wanted to show it off because it's a little bit different than others. But if you couldn't tell by the title, it's the Midsummer Director's Cut put out by A24. I'll get into that, but first, um, hopefully everyone's staying safe, staying sane. I think I might open with that all the time until this whole COVID goes away because life is still crazy. Uh, you know, and in Jersey, we got hit, well, not only Jersey, but we got hit by, you know, the tropical storm that knocked out power and all this stuff. And at work, it's been crazy. We lost a whole bunch of food that we had to, just craziness. So the past couple days have just been, you know, kind of nuts for me. I came home yesterday. I got this in the mail, didn't even open it. Technically, I took the plastic off it. The only thing I did was I put uh, a picture up on my Instagram for those of you who want to follow me, Tony's Movies on Instagram, uh, check out all my stuff. I always mention it. Well, not always. Sometimes at the end I'll mention it. But if you have Instagram and you want to see me post some of my movies, check out Tony's Movies. But anyway, it's pretty much what I did. Didn't even open this thing up. You can technically call this thing like a digi book, I guess you want to call it. It comes with a book. Uh, the thing is, it's a little bit different. Uh, and when I say a little bit different, it's a lot a bit different than most DVDs or, or Blu-ray releases, should I say. Um, but before I get into the showing off, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, if you enjoy this video, hit that like button. And when you want to, or if you want to, uh, hit that little bell button so you know when I do upload more stuff. So you'll be the first one on it, whether it's these unboxing, reviews, or a um, another video um, I have probably going to do in the next 20 minutes or so. But anyway, uh, like I said, it's definitely different. Uh, it kind of throws a monkey wrench in if you're trying to collect, you know, normal stuff and just keep it in alpha. Like I'm a stickler. I put all my stuff in alphabetical order and by um, company and all that kind of stuff. Um, kind of throws a monkey wrench in it. Is it nice looking? Yes. But it is completely different than anything else I have. So it's kind of hard to put together unless I like stand it up or whatever. I'll figure it out, but it is completely different. Uh, this cost me 50 bucks, uh, I believe, with shipping. Uh, but right now, if you're looking on like the secondary market, I looked on eBay and stuff, it's going for like double that. I'd say check A24, um, the website. Uh, possibly they might still have some more of this. I don't know how many they, uh, you know, press and stuff. But if you're looking on eBay, it, you know, they're starting, you know, all auctions and stuff they're starting with like double the price so uh might be a little bit harder to find but like i said if you want to if you're looking at this check a24.com just in case they do have some more copies of this i don't remember if they said a certain pressed copies or whatever but it is pretty you know cool like a collector's piece but anyway uh here it is it's definitely like i said it's like one and a half times the size of a normal uh, Blu-ray. Um, it it's like a matted finish. It's definitely a different kind of finish to it. Um, usually, uh, I was asked on Instagram, you know, how long this movie actually is. Not a hundred percent sure because it doesn't really tell you here at all. Don't know if it tells you, uh, like on if you pull it open. But I'm not a hundred percent sure how long the movie is. But this is the front cover of it. it says Midsummer, director's cut. And then it says, uh, you know, A24 and an uh, Art Aster film. It's got that, uh, you know, nice looking picture here. Um, the only thing that's different is this is the front cover. So when I'm, you know, not many movies do I have like where you pull it out. Um, but I'm so used to this side being the closed side, but it's not. This is the side you actually pull the thing out. And I'm so used to this side being the... Uh, this side that you pull the actual disc out. So that's kind of like different and backwards to me. Uh, could be wrong. May maybe other people have other stuff like this. But I'm so used to this being the closed side and this side being the, you know, side you pull out. But this is, like I said, is the open side. This is the, uh, you know, the one part it says over here, Midsummer. Hopefully my uh, camera picks it up. But Midsummer. 
A24, and then the uh, director's cut. Uh, the back, it says uh, seven, uh, 978 equals 1 equals 7,339,920 equals 4 equals 6. Not 100% sure. I haven't seen the movie in a while. Um, don't remember that having anything to do with anything, but this is the back with this picture here. And then, like I said, all that equals 978 and whatever equals 4 equals 6 equals that. Um, so that's the outside cover. Like I said, it has a nice, like, different matte finish kind of deal. So like I said, I'm not used to this side pulling the, um, pulling the thing out. But this is the, uh, like I said, it's kind of like a digibook. It's just a bigger size digibook kind of deal. Um, but this is the front cover here. It said Midsummer Director's Cut A24. It's got that, uh, nice looking, like, uh, Lee, uh, like flowers and all that stuff on the side. It has just like this kind of design. And then in the back, I'm looking to see, like I said, I'm not a hundred percent sure if it tells you how long or the runtime on this. Um, it's not showing me that it's just, uh, you know, a 24 presents and it's got, uh, you know, a film by, uh, Ari Aster and all that stuff. It tells you, you know, the co-producer and editor and all that stuff, but it's not giving me a timestamp on how long it is, but that's the back cover there with this bear on fire. And then, like I said, it's got all the information and all the, uh, you know, rights and everything. So then you open this up and the first page out of it is, uh, you know, the, uh, where you get the book or the uh, actual disc and then that's where the book starts and with the book um, I'm guessing it uh, let's see you know it's giving you all the uh, directors and all that stuff and uh, music by then it gives you a table of contents and then in here it looks like it's got a whole bunch of uh, like picture, I don't know if I can show that because um, it has a penis on it. Uh, but anyway, really quick, and as you saw that or paused it, yeah, a lot of this stuff is I can't show you a lot of this art because it's uh, you know gratuitous, and that one I could probably show you. But it, on all these pages, it looks like it has a lot of like different art and such. Um, not going to go through everything. Uh, there's a bunch of naked women, uh, people getting thrown off, uh, things into fire and all this stuff. Um, sexual positions, uh, blindfolded, um, got a lot of, you know, like I said, nudity and, um, such like that. Like a couple pages of just, you know, sex, uh, burning people at the stake and, you know, some crazy pictures like this. Um, but like I said, I can't show you everything. Um, okay, that's different. Uh, murals from Siv's house. So this is other pictures. Something like this. But how many pages is this book here? This is a 61 page book where half of them are just like numbered and nothing's on them. Uh, but yeah, this is definitely uh, completely different than I expected. Uh, like I said, it's not really, it doesn't really, it gives you a couple, you know, let me see what it actually says. Oh, uh, a little thing written uh, by Martin Scorsese. So I'm guessing like this couple pages are uh, what he thought about the movie because it says Martin. Um, and then it says artwork by Ragnar Persson, murals uh, from the youth house. So um, from uh, from the movie, I believe they had some of the stuff in there. But like I said, a lot of these pictures are definitely different. Um, uh, some of them are definitely odder than... I expected but it's pretty interesting so like I said you get this kind of like digi book kind of deal 
Um, and uh, yeah, it's definitely something different. Uh, for those of you who are a fan of Midsummer, I'm sure you'd, uh, like I said, it is a nice little collector's piece. The only problem is it's so long and like if I compare this to uh, this movie here, as you can tell, it's like a one and a half times, one of the quarter size of it. Uh, it's thicker, it's wider, it's um, not really thicker, a little bit thicker, I guess you want to call it. Uh, but it's definitely wider and it's definitely taller. And um, yeah, it's, like I said, a little bit harder to display anywhere else unless you keep it like standing up or put it in a bookshelf or something like that. So, you know, for the nice, it looks very nice, but like I said, it's a, a little bit different than I'm used to. But yeah, Midsummer Director's Cut, like I said, uh, 50 bucks on A24 if it's still there, not 100% sure. I did pre-order it about a month ago um, when they first announced it. Uh, so I don't know, like I said, how many pressing, uh, how many, you know, actual, uh, copies they actually had or how much they actually sold. If there's any left, I'd say check A24 first. Uh, but if you really need it, like I said, eBay, they're selling it. I'm looking and a lot of the auctions are, you know, going double the price, sometimes even triple the price, um, depending on, you know, what seller you have. But like I said, and it, because um, a couple videos ago, I mentioned um, one of the movies that was uh, A24 exclusive that was going for about 100 bucks on eBay. But if you went to the actual, uh, went to A24 itself, um, you could find it for, you know, an average $20 uh, movie. So I say check the website first. And then if you really, really, really want it, like I said, check eBay, but you're going to get, you know, double to triple the price. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this. Uh, like I said, um, definitely different. Usually if I had like a box set, it'd be a little bit more um, pronounced, I guess you want to call it or whatever. But for the fact this is so different looking, so interesting. Uh, like I said, I couldn't show you all the pictures uh, because there are peenies and vaginies on there. But uh, yeah, Midsummer. So hopefully, um, you know, it kind of like I said, I don't want to say I geared you or leaned you towards buying it because if you can't find it for, you know, the 50 bucks that it is, you know, unless you really, really want it, you're going to be paying double that. But uh, what could you do? So Midsummer uh, Director's Cut, I'd say I still haven't sat down to watch it, how different it is. If you want like a movie review of it uh, rather than, you know, the disc uh, showing off the, you know, the uh, cover and all that stuff. Let me know and I'll do that. But uh, yeah, that's Midsummer's Director's Cut. Stick around. Like I said, I got a video coming. A uh, little bit different than I've done before. But especially in this time when people are looking for movies. Uh, whether it be, this is actually going to be for collectors that buy uh, their movies um, from different places. But it could help people looking for different movies to watch. Uh, a couple of these could be on, you know, Netflix or stuff, uh, but um, I'll get into that when I take the video. But hopefully, like I said, you enjoyed it. Again, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button if this was helpful or you enjoyed the video. And of course, hit that bell button so you know when I do upload more stuff. Uh, check out my other social media stuff. I got a Facebook fan page. I got a Twitter. I got an Instagram where I show off the movies behind me, especially that I showed that off first before I unboxed it. And uh, check out The Dorkening. I'm part of The Dorkening where we do interviews with uh, indie horror directors, producers, and stuff like that. The Wicked Horror Show. Check out The Dorkening for a lot of podcasts. If you're into podcasts, there's plenty of uh, content on the thedorkening.com or the Dorkening uh, Podcast Network. Um, and yeah, I guess until next time, I'll see you guys.